auto join function in Tecla. This function is used to create new join from Tecla. Uh, first you need to have the program installed. Then you can either start from the toolbar or you can double click the exe file. Then you have you have to have the join created first. Then select the join, click draw assembly button. They work for assembly and single part join. So it will take a few minutes to create the join. Now the program is done. There are two join created and this dialog show you it takes almost seven minutes. Then we can open the join. Let's see when join open. Let's take a close look. See this is the pen play. Uh, no, this is the this is the stiffener play, bevel dimension, running dimension, and the wear, and uh, this is a safety hole, and uh, this is a pen play, and same as the other end, and. Uh, we can see the section for the band play and the where. The where is right now is coming from model. So whatever the model where is shows on the drawing. Then the whole dimension. Then what's the difference between my connect uh, drawing function with the tecla? And my drawing function has full control. That means every dimension you can control it's on or off. And also you can control the distance on near side or far side or the distance between the dimension point to the dimension line. Let's open and also this one is a plug-in too. It's automatic control the slot direction. If there is a slot, if they change to standard hole, then it will back to standard hole. This is linked to the model too. Then let's see how we control those dimension. From the program, there is a dimension control. So this is the key setup. Under the note, the last page. There is a note on how the program works, how what they can do, what's the setup you need to do. Basically, you need set up views, set up dimension, section, detail, and also set up some note for the hole, for the center, play, for the shop bowl, for the side bowl, and for the hole. So each way they have a separate control. So you can set up for your own requirement. And dimension, how to set up dimension and uh, set up the basic view. And uh, after the setting, you can copy the setting from one model to another. And program will copy all the setting file to, from one folder to another. Then this is the basic uh, element. This is a typical detailing element like shear play, bevel play, bows, this is the bow in the main piece, angle up and play, and the play stiffener and uh, other things. This is the most common object showing in the assembly drawing. Then each dimension you can select, say, yes, draw it, or no, not draw it. And the distance is the point, the main point to the dimension line in millimeter. Everything here in millimeter. Um, you can control the running dimension location. You can control, like, say, on the front view, top view, or both. That's for the square dimension. And uh, 
other thing is the same. Some you can control. You need a section view or no, and also you can control the section skill, section view skill. Then you can control the cut. You can control the total dimension, running dimension. You can have one line dimension or two line or multiple line uh, based on your setting. And the uh, dimension base, this is for column, for beam, and for special piece measure from the bottom. Once you set up by a name or a UDA, then program where using your setting to dimension that way. And also you have a finished setting for the column and you can eliminate some closed bevel dimension and uh, you can set up for the base view. Its base is for the uh, front view, top view or bottom view. You can choose using bottom section or top section and uh, you can uh, show the control the par mark and the bow mark and uh, you can control the where it's model dependent or independent uh, dependent is linked to the model independent is draw the first time then you can modify then there is no link and uh, also you can control the sub assembly like uh, a truss or you have a step there and the piece of wear to there, you can set up then the wear detail them according your setting. And also you can draw a single part view in assembly or not. Then you can control the play if the play is the main part. And also you can control the bow, the short bow, you can display as a solid or a special symbol. Then you can save a name. Let's say you have a beam, you save a beam setting. Then you have a column using a column setting. Then you can switch, load the setting, and uh, load, apply, then create the join. Then the join we are using the current setting to detail. Then next time the different type of the piece you can load in different setting. Then after then click apply and close. Then draw the assembly again. Then they, they were using the setting, your current setting to do it. So this is a column drawing detail by the program. You can see let's say they have a red hole on the low end and uh, the program gave you a detail and all those when you can set up it's based on your setting so this automatic showing the uh, red hole and how to detail the dimension the red hole is also based on your setting you can set up in your own way there are multiple choice it should cover most case if not I will adding more option for it and uh, you can see this uh, section this uh, ejection aid play this uh, beveled play basically the the program is on your is doing thing based on your setting so you can control everything you can set up by one way then all the drawing they were using the same way they should have all information provided properly if you set up properly so there is no human error and uh, not supposed to missing anything unless this type is not covered by the program so standard piece standard item they were using the standard way to detail it will save your detailing time also save your check time thank you